What are the advantages of debt fund and why should an investor choose a debt fund? Mr. Harikaran, can you elaborate on this? First and foremost, if you look at it, um, is the fact that if you want to invest in some bonds, now those bonds have a minimum ticket size. That's a minimum amount of investment, which means if you have to participate in that particular instrument, you will have to pay that minimum amount of money. Now, when you look at a fixed deposit, you and I, if you do a fixed deposit, we may do fixed deposit with maybe four or five banks, isn't it? Or if you buy bonds and debentures, we may buy bonds and debentures of maybe five, six companies, and then we may do some PPF. So these are our options. In a debt mutual fund, the fund manager takes money from investors and he will invest in 70, 80 different types of securities, which means the diversification is much better by a fund manager as compared to what you and I at an individual level will be able to do. That's the first advantage. Two, many of us may not participate in certain instruments and there are certain instruments which are only for institutions. Some of the instruments have now come to invest individual investors as well. But I'm not too sure how many people are participating. For example, if I were to ask you, how many of you have purchased a treasury bill issued by central government? T-bill. You and I can buy treasury bills, which was not available a few years back. So treasury bills typically were uh, issued by RBI on behalf of the central bank, central government. And the banks would apply for this uh, uh, T bills. But now, last two, three years, you and I can also buy treasury bills. Now, the question is, where do I buy? And as I said, you know, many people would not even know that you can buy it. So this is the challenge. You have options, some options available of different types of securities beyond your traditional FDs. But operationally, we don't know where to go and buy it. Some broking companies are today offering in the other platform the opportunity to buy treasury bills but you will have to do and do a bidding there just like you do for ipos you know in this and the retail is given at the cutoff similarly you you and i will have to do it at the cutoff price right so mutual fund can buy these kind of securities they can buy a treasury bill mutual fund will buy a commercial paper they will buy a certificate of deposit you know they can buy what is called as ptcs there are so many other instruments which are typically available with a debt fund manager which is not available with us and that is where you get a more diversified set of instruments, 70, 80 securities. So there's a diversification from an issuance perspective also. Why do they do that? To cut out the risk. Because if I put a crore of rupee with only one bank, and if that bank were to fail, default, my money is gone. So you and I will diversify in five different banks, five different corporates. But there's a limit to the kind of diversification which you and I will do. But a fund manager can diversify across so many securities. Third element is that a debt mutual fund is highly liquid. Barring few uh, classes of debt mutual fund, uh, all other debt mutual funds are extremely liquid. You can buy, sell any point in time. This again, if you compare with some of the bonds. So if you buy a corporate bond or a debenture, and these corporate bonds and debentures are listed on the stock exchange. So if you have taken a 10-year bond, you either wait till the 10-year period is over or you have an option to exit from the bond by going to the secondary market, say after one year, two year, three years. But when you go and do that, is there enough liquidity is the question. I have faced this uh, in, my, in my own personal experience. If you recollect uh, many years back, there was a section which was introduced, uh, which was section 80 CCF, if I'm uh, getting the C section correct, which was infrastructure bonds. And by inv investing in those infrastructure bonds up to 20,000 rupees, you get additional tax deduction. And I invested in two such bonds. One was issued by LNT. I don't recollect the other one. And after I got the bonds, few years later, I tried to sell them on the stock exchange. I used to put the orders every day in the, on the exchange. Every day, there were not many transactions happening. So there are not many people willing to buy. So I could not exit. Only after eight, nine days, I was able to execute my order. So liquidity could be a challenge in some of the corporate bonds and debentures in the case of debt mutual fund there are so many securities so the fund manager has a choice of which securities to exit when to exit right so from that perspective there's a lot of liquidity that is available in terms of 
um, uh, debt mutual fund. Okay. The other advantage is that um, uh, so we have talked of liquidity. Uh, the other advantage is in terms of the uh, minimum amount of investment. So again, for certain instruments, there are minimum ticket sizes, uh, which is what I started with actually. Uh, but in a mutual fund, you can again start with as low as 500 rupees. You know, with that 500,000 rupees, you can participate uh, in so many issuances. So that's the advantage that debt mutual fund offers. One big advantage, uh, which I which I now want to talk about is the taxation bit of it. Now, when you do a fixed deposit, and even if you have done as say a cumulative FD, so which means that you're not taking the interest, your interest and principal is going to come at the end of the maturity. But even in a cumulative option, as an investor, you're supposed to declare interest every year. And you're also supposed to pay tax on that interest every year. You have not got the interest in your account, but you're paying tax in a debt mutual fund till the time you don't exit and sell the debt mutual fund and you have not realized the profit you don't pay any tax so that is what we call as a tax deferral okay that's again a very important advantage with a debt mutual fund okay so understand this uh, very carefully these are some of the uh, advantages of debt mutual fund vis-a-vis -vis the other traditional instruments at no point in time do i want to uh, communicate that uh, the other instruments are bad. Please remember, I'm not trying to say a PPF is bad or the FDs, but I'm just telling you there are options available beyond FDs. And some of these options are really good options, which can fetch you better performance and returns as compared to FDs. Thanks for your detailed explanation. Are you in search of a personal guide who can remove the stress of handling your finances, then please feel free to avail our expert consultation. And also, you can attend our webinars to gain investment-related insights. Both the consultation and webinar are absolutely free and you can find the link in the below description. Please like and share and do subscribe to Holistic Investment.